My name is Tristan Barraud de Lagerie. I am Product Marketing Manager for Public Safety and I am here to uh, demonstrate Mission Critical Broadband. LTE is a well-known technology. Everybody is using LTE now uh, on their consumer device. This is not the case for public safety agencies today. One of the challenges in terms of adoption of LTE by public safety agencies like firefighters, policemen, it is that the network needs to be really reliable and the services need to be specific to these public safety needs. So we're going to show first how LT is going to bring new kind of applications like push to video to enhance the uh, operational efficiency of first responders by sharing video to their team. Second, we are going to show the ultra compact network, which is a LT standalone network and carried in a backpack to be deployed in case of natural disasters where the LT macro cell has been uh, damaged. And third, we are actually as well talking about uh, the uh, Nokia Saving Lives, which is a non-profit initiative, which is going to drive innovation in that uh, market space as well, with the use of drones and the use of video analytics to better plan as well the operations. The idea is really to have NGOs, to have authorities, MNOs and suppliers as Nokia all together to make sure that we can enhance the operations in case of natural disasters. For this, we have been recognized as a leader and we won an award last week in Dubai. All the team is really proud to have uh, received this uh, award. This is something which recognizes all the efforts in this area. The adoption of LT uh, has started already. We see uh, customers in the uh, Middle East, in uh, Korea, uh, in uh, the UK as well starting to adopt the LT technology for public safety use. So this is really leveraging all the assets from Nokia in terms of uh, network. In the radio part, backhaul, car network, services, all together to have a really competitive uh, solution for uh, public safety. Clearly with public safety end-to-end uh, -end network and new markets uh, that we want to address, we are innovating the global nervous system.